ma'am. Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. Sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mystery Channel. I'm your host, Mystery, and today we're looking at Freddy Fish 4 in the case of the Hogfish Rustlers of Briny Gulch, released by Humongous Entertainment back in 1999. Okay, so, let's go ahead and get on onto this adventure, huh? We gotta rustle us up some rustlers. There's Cousin Calico's Ranch! I can't wait! Let's go, Freddy! Away! Oh, poor Cousin Calico. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. <gasps> rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Oh, don't you worry, Cousin Calico. We're gonna rustle them rustlers. But first, we gotta get the sea urchin. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! <laughs> oh, man. So I'm filming this the same way I did Freddy Here 3. Here we are in Briny Gulch. I hope this it's... must be the town square! Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. So I'm filming this the same way I filmed Freddy 3, and I hope this is all going to work out alright. Mmm, he got the jams. Let's check this note. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Three, zero, seven. I'll bet the rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. It does probably taste like paper. She's right. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Well, how suspicious. Uh, fun fact, when I was in school, uh, I remember a buddy of mine, Torin, he, he wrote down something and he didn't want the teacher to find Come it. Come on. Let's check out that hat. And he, okay. he gave it to me and, and I had to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> this shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. <laughs> oh, man. One, two, three, nine, eight, seven. Hey! We did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Sarnett, what's that racket? What's that right, kid? Coming. Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. <laughs> That 
must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Let's go, Luther. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. He's got a point. All it's fashionable. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep. We all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Russellmania magazine. Russellmania. An orange 10-gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with a K on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Because this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. All right, yeah, we got to find a uniform. Man, I sure wish I had a subscription to Russellmania magazine. All right, you hogfish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. <gasps> Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. I don't know about that. Hello, boys. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. Okay, seven feet by seven feet. Sounds easy enough. Well, Sahara Slim. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Hmm, and a nice bow tie. We're gonna have to find a harmonica for him. Ooh, and another purple sea urchin. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! I just said that, Luther. And here's our piece of wood. This should be useful. Oh boy, I hope those edges are sanded. <laughs> What's over here? Oh, it's the whale. Right, right, right. Wow! You're bigger than, well, just about everybody, I guess. You should see my brother. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. Well, it's real nice to meet you both. My name is Fluke. How you doing, Fluke? Boy, Fluke, you're so big, I bet you could swallow the whole town. <laughs> I doubt it, but I can fit a lot of folks in my mouth. That's how come I'm the cabaret. Cabaret? We put on plays and shows and things right inside my mouth. In wow. your mouth? That sounds interesting. Could we take a look? Well, the cabaret's closed right now, but sure. Take a look. Sure. Well, I see a hat. Hey, this is neat. Hey, look! It's a 10-gallon hat! Oh, boy! Oh. It's stuck in there pretty good! Yeah! Hmm... We're gonna have to figure out a way to get the hat out. We did it last time. Don't remember... I think I need a rope or something. Right, we need a wheel crank for this. Oh man, I tell you. I do love this game. 
I do love this game. Maybe, maybe not quite as much as Freddy 3, but... Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Oh. What's going on here? Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, hi, kids. Hello. Got my eye on you, Sahara Slim. Uh, not, not quite, I don't like it quite as much as Freddy 3, but I have so many fond memories of playing this, and I've always loved westerns. I grew up on them, so it's still, oh, it's just so it good. looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. It's so good. Oh, I love it. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Hmm. Okay, so we need a we need a hexagon. And there's the sheriff, I think. Look at that poor guy spinning on the propeller. Let's see if we can get that done. Right, and that's how we get the rope. And a sea urchin. Hey Luther! What's round and purple and pokey? Hey, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. Oh, Luther. I wasn't afraid. Uh. What is this, a carnival ride? I think that did something. Well, it ain't quite stopped. There we go. You all right, mister? I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Hi! Well, pleased to meet you. I'm Sheriff Shrimp, the local lawman. I'd shake your fins, but as you can see, I'm a little tied up right now. True. Watch this, Freddy! I learned all about knots in the Fish Scouts. <laughs> um... Sheriff Zachariah Shrimp is in your debt. If there's ever anything you need, why, you just ask. Well, as a matter of fact, there are some rustlers who... But I must be off. There's law breaking a foot somewhere. I can smell it! But... <laughs> you there! No loitering! <clears throat> uh, Freddy! What? Oh! I'm sorry, Luther. Wow! That's amazing! I was in Fish Scouts, too. I'm sure you were, Freddy. You can do anything. This could come in handy. Now, I've said before, and I'll say it again. You know, I'm not really speed running the games, but I'm also not taking my sweet time. And out of sheer curiosity, I did take a look um, to see if anybody did speed run this game. And sure enough, uh, they were on speedrun, speedrun.com. And the world record for this game is 59 seconds. <laughs> Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? 59 Say, seconds. That looks about right. That's crazy. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. You know, I think on a real casual kind of playthrough, you can realistically... You know, as an adult, realistically, about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, you're taking your time, you're sipping on your drink or whatever. Just, just kicking back. I'm getting these done roughly around 30 minutes. Our work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Or at least that's the, exactly. that's the plan, anyway. But 59 seconds, oh my gosh. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Thank you, thank you. Uh, 
Hello, Gil. I'd like to buy a nut, please. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go! Therefore I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Uh, oh, Gil, I love you. Great, we'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. You may have your nut. Here's oh, I love another you. purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous fickle fit wheel nut is all yours. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Let's buy another wheel nut. I don't think we need one. What is this, Gil? Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. Hmm. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. Hmm. Come on, you Gil. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? <laughs> I've got a few purple sea urchins. Ooh. You know... My dogfish needs an operation. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. <sighs> oh, my. See, I think we go this way for the wheel crank. Yep. There we go. We made it! I knew we could do it! Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! It's a crank handle. What's it doing here all by itself? Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah, I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. Well, I bet I know what to do with this. Oh, thank you, jellyfish. Man, it has been such a blast getting to, you know, go back and, and play, having, a, like, an excuse to play through the whole series. I'm digging it. Oh! Wow! That's amazing! You should see my brother! What's this brother everyone keeps talking about? Do you think you could let us by? Sorry, can't! Why is that? I think I'm stuck. Could you try moving? Do you have to keep puffing up like that? Can't help it. 
Reflex. Reflex? Happens whenever anybody gets near me. Well, we'll have to we'll have to solve that. He may be the immovable object, but Freddy Fish is the unstoppable force. <laughs> First, let's go get that 10 gallon hat. Can we go inside your mouth some more? Please, be my guest! What an odd thing to ask somebody. <laughs> Come on, Luther! Let's try this! Ooh. <laughs> How do people see out of these things? Oh, wait, there's an eye hole. I think you could use a little bit smaller hat. They make smaller ones? Yes, Luther. Oh, little hogfish. All right. What about cake? Will you eat cake? <laughs> Here, try it. But it's chocolate. I'd eat the cake. I'd eat the cake. We got the hat unstuck from between your teeth. A little floss was all we needed. Well, that's a relief. It was driving me crazy. Can we borrow it? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. Thanks for getting it out. You're welcome. Although I would like to see her wearing it. That'd be fun. Little tiny hat, my big old head. That'd be great. They'll belong somewhere. Here, let me help. Mighty fish saves the day. I hope y'all are enjoying this as much as I am. Even if you're enjoying it just we half as much as I am. Luther. That's Why a win in my book. It's not, Luther. You are. Oh, that's better. Hey, look! This place is filled with water now! Now we can go into the sunken ship. Ooh, and a sea urchin. Oh, boy! I see another purple sea urchin! I don't think we actually need it, though. I love the way that looks. I always have. Can't explain it. It's Pepper. Really? Luther, no! Oh, God. Uh, 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 <laughs> Bless you. Wow! Gesundheit. Look at this cute spice container. This could come in handy. You know, it sure could. And since it made him sneeze, I bet we could use it on the puffer fish, make him sneeze, blow him out of the blow him out of the way, you know. Get him out of the cave. There! One container of pepper. <laughs> All right, you hogfish, pay attention. <laughs> I 
I've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to hire these sheep head to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go to sleep. Please. Please. Aww. <laughs> Poor wrestler. Please just go to sleep. Please. <laughs> Oh, man. Let's fix the wheel. We did it. It's fixed, and it'll stay on there, right? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoofs him something awful. What's he got against glue? Luther! Oh, God! Away! Oh, Luther. My package! At last. Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to Hermit in peace. Thank you, Mr. Tippett. Thank you. All right. Now we just need to find his uh, harmonica, and we need a, a letter K. It was MSG in the ship. Not gonna do me any good. Okay. Do you think you could move out of the hole while you're still small? Move? No way! Too scared! Too scared? Oh, there we go. Here, try some pepper. <laughs> Looks like my friend Savvy. <laughs> Gee, I hope he's okay. I haven't seen anybody sneeze like that since that kid got a worm doodle up his nose at school. That was you, Luther. Oh, yeah. Oh, Luther. Just can't help but say, ah, there's a letter K. It was a K, right? I think these wrestler outfits look nice. Yeah, it was a letter K. That's got it. And a harmonica. Hey! A harmonica! <laughs> Is it broken? I think maybe you just need some lessons. Hmm. This is harder than it looks. Alright, let's go give him his harmonica back. And get ourselves a bow tie. Really a bolo tie, but it's not quite a bolo tie. It's kind of a mix between the two. Actually, no, I'm, now I'm picturing a bolo. It's, no, it's not a bolo. I guess it's the... I guess it is a bow tie. It's a harmonica. Here, would you like this harmonica? Would I? Oh, boy!
Oh, this is great! Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange with my compliments. Thanks. Thanks, Sahara. Thank you so much. Now, I can play the blues again. <laughs> What we got going on here? Gobi, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? <laughs> accordion. Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. oh no. All right, well, our outfit's all coming together now. We got to turn our hat orange and get our belt buckle made. Then we're set. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Hmm. Give me a belt buckle, my man. Here, can you make us a belt buckle out of this? Sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. There you go. Here, this is for the belt buckle. <clears throat> okay, stand back. Such extreme concentration. Precise hand. And he sticks My the landing. Best work! All that's missing is about. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso. Please, call me Nelson. Love how small his little feet are. <laughs> All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio. Always oh, pulling up his belt. Let's get our hat dyed and get on in there and save them hogfish. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend Luther. I'm Ape. Hello, Ape. <laughs> oh, poor Freddy. <laughs> I like this color. Yeah, it's a good color. Interesting that it doesn't dye the band, though. What do you think? It might 
might be a little big for you. But do I look like a ruffler? Oh! Yes! It's a tie. I know. <laughs> this will make me look even more like a ruffler. And... Piece de resistance. That's a great wrestler disguise, Freddy. Thanks, Luther. I hope it fools the guard. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem, howdy. Howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We're inside. Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers. What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere. Mr. Big will know what to do with you. Oh, no. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. We gotta find a way out of here. Hey, it looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. <laughs> These are heavy! There! That does it! are the missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. And some sheet music. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. Mm, who do we know who plays music? I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. Hmm. Looks like this one's gonna run around forty-ish minutes, just given how it's got it's got more cutscenes in it, little cartoons in it than the other ones do. But that's okay. Hi to starboard, Ensign. Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. I think you're right, Freddy. And here's a hook. Look at this neat hook! <laughs> Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? Oh god, Luther. I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. That must be terrifying. If you were a fish, and another fish came at you with a giant hook. <laughs> like in their world, that must just be Hello? horrifying. Hello? Oh. Hello? <laughs> oh god. Didn't expect that. I bet if we attach this hook to the chain, it'll reach those bars. Bet you're right. <laughs> This should free those hogfish. 
Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! Be free, my little hogfish, be free! What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp! <gasps> yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the rustlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? Well, we saw that uh, sheet music. Phil, when we were at the soda loon and we found the note telling the rustlers to meet here, you made a phone call to someone. <gasps> you were talking about uh, the note. Uh, well, I... <laughs> and when we got here and found the hogfish, I noticed this. What's that? It's sheet music, Sheriff. The sheet music to this little piggy, to be exact. No need to go on. It's my music. Moray was having trouble getting the hogfish to sleep. So I suggested he try singing this little piggy to them. Fat lot of good that did. <laughs> Phil, does that mean that you're... You're... I'm... Mr. Big. <gasps> yes. <gasps> I, I never meant to hurt anybody, you understand. It's just that I've got 17 children, and I don't make that much as a piano player. I thought Hogfish Ranching might bring in a little extra cash. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. Oh, you take things that don't belong to you. <laughs> it hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. wrong. We're I don't know sorry. what is up with that animation we didn't glitch. We want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten-gallon hats? Yours is a five-gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Ding! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. I tell you, I love this game, but I do not remember that weird animation glitch there at the end where Freddy's voice is coming out of Luther. Or, and then they just stop talking and the audio's still playing. I don't know if that's got something to do with, uh, with, with when it was put, emulated through Scum VM and, and put on Steam or what. But it's, it's really freaky. <laughs> 
Oh, man. Anyway, to keep this from going on too long, and since I have shown these credits before, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Thank you, everybody, for joining me today on the Mystery Channel. I've been your host, Mystery. We've only got one more game in the series and one more Saturday this month to keep celebrating the one-year anniversary. So I can't wait to see you all then. But until then, bye-bye.